Radiator the Snowman by Tammy Parker. Radiator the Snowman had always been different. From his tattered hat the junk man's children found in the dumpster to the grungy snow he was made with. His name was even peculiar. Named after an old car part the children had scraped snow from during his formation. Living in a junkyard seemed like an unrewarding existence for Radiator. Most visitors to his village never ventured to the junkyard to visit him. Instead, most of the tourists traveled to the more festive northern side. This was where the Top Hat Society of Finer Snowman stood in a line each winter night as the more distinguished visitors of the village walked past and admired their magnificence and splendor. The one thing that did keep Radiator's spirits up was his friends. The first group to encounter his life was a small box of kittens someone had dropped off in front of the junkyard late one night. Radiator quickly motioned the cold kittens to his side where they found warmth from the snow by wrapping themselves around Radiator's woolly socks. Then there was Hubcap, the junkyard dog. Hubcap's job was to guard the yard and stroll the perimeter of the fence to watch for burglars. Instead, he played tag with Radiator, chasing him around and around the junked cars. Last of Radiator's companions was Headlight, an old owl who wasn't strong enough for flight anymore. However, she still enjoyed the wind soaring underneath her wings by sitting in top of Radiator's hat as he skated around and around, dodging Hubcap's maneuvers. Even though Radiator cherished these friends, he still wanted more. His chance came late one night when an invitation whooshed through the junkyard, landing on his short screwdriver nose. The card was addressed to a most fine gentleman of a snowman from the Top Hat Society of Finer Snowmen. Radiator knew this couldn't be meant for him, but he did know this was his chance to become someone. To a most fine gentleman of a snowman, please join our most distinguished gathering of snowmen from the Top Hat Society of Finer Snowmen. Quickly, his friends gathered around and decided exactly what to do to help Radiator. Instead of a screwdriver nose, the kittens found him a crisp orange carrot. As far as a scarf, Hubcap borrowed a furry, striped one from the junk man's wife. However, the hat, a most distinguished hat for a most distinguished gentleman of a snowman, would be the hardest to find. The hat had to be just right. Headlight, being the wisest, had an idea. What about the long black stovepipe that had just arrived? The junk man just bought it for his barn. He won't miss it for just one night, suggested Headlight. It wasn't a hat, but it was long and round and black, fitting all the requirements. 
In moments, the junkyard snowman was dressed in the most finest of attire, ready to attend the Top Hat Society of Finer Snowmen's Distinguished Gathering. However, soon as he arrived, everything instantly changed. Instead of being greeted like a distinguished gentleman, those uppity snowmen just stared in his direction and glared as he passed by. Does he think he's one of us? I think not, my good man, one sneered. Why would a junk man ever think he could be in our league? said another. Why, I do declare, he must simply go back to his rusty tracks and leave us good fellows alone, snarled the last. Radiator was devastated. He felt as if his final meltdown was occurring. He was now in the middle of this most un- distinguished group of snowmen, all alone. That's when he felt something moving in the top of his hat. It was headlight sliding down the wood stove pipe. Soon she began rubbing her old scraggly feathers against his ice cold face, hoping to spread some warmth to her hurt friend. Headlight whispered that she knew loneliness too. As she drifted to sleep each morning, she heard all of the other birds twitting and having fun. Then at night, when she did come out, all the other birds flew back home because they were scared of nocturnals. Nevertheless, she knew that even though life under the sun wasn't meant for her, she knew she was meant for far greater things, like being Radiator's friend. Listening to Headlight, Radiator thought about his old pal Hubcap and the small kittens that nestled around his woolly socks each night. Oh, no, Radiator yelled. They must be freezing. He realized in his haste he had forgotten to leave the kittens his socks. Headlight quickly climbed back into the stovepipe hat and hung on tight as Radiator wished his way through the empty streets, hoping to make it to the junkyard in time. As he rounded the corner of the junkyard, he saw Hubcap barking for help. Radiator laid his top hat in the snow and placed his fuzzy scarf and woolly socks snuggly inside. Next, Headlight led the kittens into their new home as she wrapped her warm feathers around them. Well, maybe that snotty top hat society doesn't need me but it did give us one thing of great importance. A new, sturdy, windproof home for the kittens, said Radiator. Radiator leaned against Hubcap, making the snowman feel as warm as his name. That's when he realized it didn't matter if he was a part of any snotty society what really mattered was that his true friends were warm and safe and back in his care. Radiator also realized his dreams of becoming a most distinguished snowman that was loved and admired had come true. For he now knew he wasn't just an old piece of junk, but someone who radiated with love instead. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story. 
Radiator the Snowman. Grandma loved the story because it shows you that sometimes you think it's better to have more or to be part of a different group that might be popular when it's not really. You need to look around and just cherish the friends that you have because they're probably better friends than the ones you would have in that more popular group. <laughs> Grandma can tell you that from experience. <laughs> now, I hope you'll click that like button and let Grandma know how much you liked Radiator the Snowman. And make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.